Good morning and welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me at market site is Taylor Ridgely. He's a portfolio manager over at Highland Securities. And we're going to focus on the lesser known space within fixed income called senior loans. Um, but they seem to be gathering more attention lately. Taylor, explain to us what senior loans are and why investors are garnering more attention. Yeah, so Highland has been a senior loan manager for now over 25 years. And as you mentioned, senior loans are one of the more nuanced, less understood, misunderstood, uh, areas within fixed income, uh, but they have been garnering a lot more attention primarily because we're, we're in a rising rate environment, right? So uh, what most people probably don't understand is that senior loans are a very large, vibrant market. So at a trillion dollars in size, that compares to $1.3 trillion uh, to the size of the high yield market, which is something or an asset class much more people are familiar with. Uh, like high yield bonds, senior loans are a blown investment grade, uh, fixed income asset. Unlike high yield bonds, they are floating rate uh, in nature. So uh, high yield bonds offer a fixed rate, senior loans offer floating rate, which tend to benefit uh, in a rising rate rising environment. Rate high rate. So outside of the rising interest rate and higher environment, what are other positive characteristics of senior loans? Yeah, a couple, uh, a couple uh, primary benefits are, as in the name, so senior meaning that they sit at the top of a company's capital structure. Um, and then secured, they're secured by uh, assets uh, of the company, which are nice protections in the event uh, of a default. Um, they also offer low correlation to other asset classes. So if you're looking for uh, portfolio diversification or a way to uh, minimize volatility, they help out there as well. Would you say that this is, it could also be for the retail oriented investor that it offers access to the loan market? It does, it does. So senior loans traditionally or historically have been something more offered towards the instit institutional investor community, but through uh, the evolution of different product types, so mutual funds, uh, closed-end funds, ETFs like you know the Highland Senior uh, Loan ETF, uh, investors are able to to access uh, this market in, in a number of different ways now. So there are a lot of options for retail investors out there right now. What are some of the key factors to consider when looking to invest in senior loans? Yeah, so I think uh, initially you need to uh, understand what your goals are. So are you using it tactically or, or are you using it strategically? Are you using it uh, for uh, outperformance or are you using it more as uh, an access point? So take the ETF, for example, right? Um, what we heard from investors is they were really looking to uh, align the liquidity of the vehicle that they were looking for, i.e. an ETF, with the liquidity of the underlying asset class. So being able to match uh, what your liquidity profile is with that of the underlying uh, security is very important in selecting the product. All right, and to wrap up, is that something like with the Highland Senior Loan ETF, ticker SNLN, right? Correct, exactly. Appropriately exactly, named. Yeah. Uh, exactly, yeah. So uh, Highland, as I mentioned, we, we've been a senior loan manager for, for 25 years uh, now. So we're very uh, large players in the space. Um, and it was a way, the ETF was a way for us to bring our investment acumen and expertise uh, through to the retail community at a you know, cheap, cost-efficient uh, structure. So the ETF really made sense. And getting back to the matching the liquidity profile uh, of the vehicle with that of the underlying, that's why we decided to uh, have this passive product that focuses on owning the 100 most liquid leveraged loans uh, in the broader senior loan uh, investment universe. All right. Well, thank you very much, Taylor, for joining us at MarketSite. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.